Today, I want to go over how you can install Virtual Studio Code, also known as VS Code, onto the Lenovo Duet Chromebook. For whatever reason, people seem to be having problems trying to install VS Code onto the Duet, so I thought it'd be a topic worth going over in a video. Switching over to screen recording from the Lenovo Duet here. Before we get to the actual installation of Microsoft Virtual Studio Code, I want to quickly demonstrate an easy way to check whether your Chromebook has an ARM processor or an 8x86 processor. We'll be using the COG System Info Viewer app here to do this. You can get the app from the Chrome Web Store. As you may be able to tell, COG is an app that displays your device's software, hardware, and network info in an easy to understand manner. Scroll to the CPU section of this app and go to the architecture section here. On the Lenovo Duet, it says AARCH64 or ARCH64, which means that it is an ARM Chromebook or to be more specific, an ARM64 one. If it says x86 or x86-64 here, then your Chromebook is not an ARM Chromebook and probably comes with an Intel processor or, or maybe an AMD one. Knowing the CPU on your Chromebook here is kind of important for when we install Virtual Studio Code. Now that we've confirmed that the Lenovo Duet is an ARM Chromebook, let's go over the installation steps. First, start off by heading over to the official Microsoft Virtual Studio Code website. On the main page of the Virtual Studio Code website, you get a rather friendly button that will allow you to easily download the Linux software package or .deb of Virtual Studio Code. Clicking this friendly button will download the .deb file for the x86 version of Virtual Studio Code. If you have an x86 Chromebook, this friendly button should download the appropriate .deb file. Because the Lenovo Duet is an ARM Chromebook though, clicking the friendly button here will not download the right software package. The x86 version of Virtual Studio Code will not run on ARM Chromebooks after all. Instead, we're gonna look below the friendly button and click the other platform link. This link will lead us to an area of the web page that looks like this. Click the ARM64 option for .deb files over here. Clicking this will download the .deb file for the ARM64 version of Virtual Studio Code. Once the download has been completed, go to the File Explorer and click on the .deb file. The file will open an installation window of sorts that will look like this. Click Install here, and the installation process will take a few minutes. Once the process has been successfully completed, a notification with the words Installation Complete will pop up. From there, open up the Apps List, find the Linux Apps folder, and the Virtual Studio icon should be there. Clicking on the icon will open the app. It might take a little bit of time for the app to start up, but that's to be expected when considering the Duet's somewhat limited specs as well as the way in which Linux apps are run on Chrome OS. To be clear, the experience of using Virtual Studio Code on the Lenovo Duet isn't terrible by any measure. It's, it's a quite usable experience. It's just not super smooth or, or speedy or anything like that. Like with other things, how usable VS Code will be on the Duet kind of depends on what your use case is. As long as you're not trying to do something that's overly complicated or complex or demanding, I think you'll be fine. If you're someone who's just trying to get into coding, maybe you're learning Python or C++ or le learning a, a coding language for the first time and you're just using Virtual Studio Code as a way to learn these different lang programming languages, uh, then, I think, then I think you're pretty much fine. I think the Duet will actually be perfect for something like that. Anyway, that's how you install VS Code onto the Lenovo Duet Chromebook here. Um, and while I did make this video with the Lenovo Duet Chromebook in mind, the steps that I laid out here should work for any of the more recent ARM Chromebooks that have come out. So, uh, you know, hopefully this tutorial will be useful not just to Lenovo Duet users, but to a variety of ARM Chromebook users out there. If this video was useful to you in any way, shape, or form, make sure to hit that like button. And uh, if you want to see more of what's going on with the Octillion Tech YouTube channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button.